Hello everyone, welcome back to my voice studio. My name is Brittany Putman and I've been teaching since 2003. Today I want to give you another tip on how to sing a high note well. Oftentimes we can sing high notes, but there's room for improvement. And what I'm gonna teach you today is how to take your notes from good to even better, hopefully great. So uh, what we're gonna talk about today is airspeed or energy. Oftentimes, if we sing a song that kind of goes from like a mid-range up into maybe a high note or a high line and come back, if we feel comfortable enough being able to sing those notes, we'll kind of maintain a level of airspeed that is just maybe the minimum or it doesn't really change much. But in order to really give the amount of fullness that we want to have on high notes, or a voice texture or tone that we wanna to, want to give or full support, we can actually think of doing something different with the air that's coming up and out of us and, and over our vocal cords. And the idea is to accelerate the airspeed. So what I like people to think about is as you're coming along your phrase and you're approaching the high note, I would love for you to be able to think, okay, I need to start accelerating my airspeed as I come up and over that high note. And if we're intentional about making sure we're really giving plenty of airspeed or air energy at th those points, we should be able to have more fullness in our voice, more volume and more support. So I'm going to go ahead and give you an example of both ways of singing. I'm gonna be singing an excerpt from the old Irish air, Danny Boy. And the first time I sing it, I'm just gonna to try to sing with an even level of air energy or air speed going through it. So here we go. But come ye back when summer's in the meadow, or when the valley's hushed and white with snow. It's I'll be here in sunshine or in shadow. Oh, Danny boy, oh, Danny boy, I love you so. Now, for the most part, that song fit well within my range. I was able to hit the notes and it didn't come off sounding too horrible. But I don't want to sound just good. I really want to improve and do the best that I can. So now I'm going to sing it through with great intentionality to make sure that I'm increasing my airspeed as I come to high notes. So here's the second time around, singing it with a little more intentional increase of my airspeed or my energy behind my tone. But come ye back when summer's in the meadow, or when the valley's hushed and white with snow. It's I'll be Danny boy, oh Danny boy, I love you so. I hope with those two examples, you can see and hear the difference between singing with a moderate level of air energy and airflow and the difference that it can make when we're really intentional about how we're using our air and our energy. That as we are coming towards a high part in a phrase, if we intentionally give a little bit more air speed, we can do even better. Thanks so much for watching. Please share this with people if you think it would be helpful, and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.